Hey, what's up guys? Jordan Anderson here, and thank you for joining me. Um, the Okay, so the first round of the Filmmakers Roundtable happened last week, and it was really great. One of the guys in the roundtable named Bryn Washington, which I suggest you check it out. It's going to be, check out his channel here, I think. Yeah, little tag right there, or uh, I can't remember, but Brandon Washington. Check out his channel. He's awesome. But he asked a really good question inside the round table that I wanted to kind of share with you guys. I want to share the answer. Question was, how do you make so much content, Jordan? How do you make so many videos? How are you constantly consistent with this stuff? Like how, I mean, like we all have full-time jobs. We all have things to do. Life happens. So how do you make videos? How do you, how do you have so many videos that you're constantly making that you're just staying in the stream of the you know the the news feed all the time humble brag you got to dedicate time to make these videos if these videos are important to you and this youtube channel is important to you and creating your video business or creating content or you know producing videos for your company for your personal brand for you as a filmmaker if this shit is important to you then you have to do it you have to set aside time in the week whatever time it may be tuesday from 9 to 10 is when I make videos. Like you, whatever time it is, you have to set aside that time, keep it just tattooed in your mind. Like you cannot, it's, it is permanent. This, this block of time cannot change and it has to, like no matter what happens, this slot of time is dedicated to making videos. That's, that's what you have to do. You have to really dedicate your time to doing this because Yes, you have full-time jobs. We all like we're all working full-time. I mean, some I mean, granted some are students out there, but like for the ones like us that are working full-time 9 to 5, 40 hours a week, 40 plus hours a week. Like how do you like it's this is my hobby. This is what I do if I'm not at work. I mean, if I'm not at work, I'm either hanging out with Elizabeth or I'm thinking about making videos. Or maybe, you know, and then the third thing would be like just relaxing not doing anything. But, you know, if you're on the soccer team or on the softball team or you're going to trivia night or you're going to a concert every night or, or you're going to a concert every Friday or you're going to the bar with your friends every weekend or you're going swimming every, you know, every Sunday, like you, then like those things are clearly more important than making videos. And like, I don't, I'm not trying to make this video into like a motivational kind of thing, but I really just, the, clearest answer as to how why is how and why you make so many videos is that I dedicate the time to do so so what, I mean that's not a jab at any of you guys uh, you, you know if this is not important to you fine but and again I'm not trying to make this a motivational video but if it's how do you make so much how do you make videos you have to dedicate time this, today is Saturday this is the third video I've done now in within two hours it's important that I I believe it's important that this video gets out. I believe it's important that this video gets made. To go further into that answer, how you make so much content out of that, is you also have to figure out, you know, how can you take one video and make five pieces of content out of that video? That is also important too. That's also, that's stepping into the distribution game of it. So I take this video right here, I'll upload this to YouTube. I will then also slightly re-edit this video so it's more in a Facebook friendly version. I'll upload that to Facebook, which also, by the way, I want to plug my Facebook business channel, Jordan P. Anderson. It's going to be in the link below that Facebook group right there. Go ahead and give that a like on Facebook. If you, I mean, yeah, I'm going to plug that channel. So I'll upload it to my Facebook business page. So once I've shared on Facebook, now I'm going to also cut this video into the best 60 seconds. Or if it's a 10 minute video, I'll find like two or three pieces that are 60 seconds long and upload that to Instagram. And then I will also take 10 second chunks out of this entire video, slice it up, you know, 10 different slices, 12 different slices, five different slices of 10 seconds that are slightly coherent together. And then I'll upload that to Instagram stories. And that will also go on to Snapchat stories. Then from there, once the video is finally done, I'll take just the audio of this video right here and then add the podcast intro. Hey guys, welcome to the podcast. Hey, thanks for listening to the podcast and make a podcast out of this. And then from this video, I will either transcribe it or I will take the gist of what I'm saying right now, type it up into paragraph form, into a blog form and make a blog post out of this. That goes to jordanpanderson.com slash blog. Um, 
So on top of that, so like the final vlog, so the final blog post on my personal website will be the written version of this video, it will be the video version of this video, it will be the audio version of this video, and then it'll also be a link to Instagram and whatnot and all those things. That's how you make so much content out of just one video. That's what we've been trying to teach our clients too, like, you know, you, we may make one three minute, five minute big video for you, but you do realize that we can break this up into like, 10 other pieces of content that can last you for the next six months. Like that, like that's what you gotta think about. How can I take this one master video and break it up into bite-sized pieces that I can then leak out over the entire week? Because, so think about it too, and why it seems like there's so much of me in the newsfeed is that if I do three videos a week, that means three, that means three main YouTube videos, but that also means that there's gonna be 10 pieces of content per video per week that is always going to be coming out. So there's always stuff that are bite-sized pieces that are just little gateway drugs, little hits of this and that, of me, of my video, of my work, that then goes out so you can then find the full video, or then you can discover the podcast version, or then you can find my Snapchat channel. Like I'm just, it's, it's a constant stream. Like there's so much you can do as an editor to chop up one big video into 10 different bite-sized pieces. So that's something to keep in mind. That's a skill that everyone should start training themselves to do. That That's a skill that everyone should start thinking about in pre-production. When you make this video, think about how you can make 10 bite-sized pieces out of this. And then that's gonna save you in the long run. If, you, if you're so overwhelmed by, oh, you gotta have constant content and like it's a constant stream that I just can't keep up or I feel like, I'm only doing one video a month. I'm only doing one video every two weeks. Like I can't keep up. Well, if you you can keep up, just take that one piece of video and break it up. So rehash it. You know what I mean? And then on top of that, take your old videos and chop them up into new pieces of content for your main stuff. So there's so much. There's there's a lot. There's a lot of ways to do it, and it doesn't all have to be constantly original content. Yeah, so that was a great question, Brandon. Thank you for asking that. Again, everyone, go check out Brandon Washington's page. He's got some cool drone stuff and some other great video production tips and tricks. Um, yeah, dudes. Yes, guys. I want to thank you all for watching. Uh, I really appreciate it. And I'm gonna plug one thing because I don't normally plug things. But if you want to go to iTunes or go in the description below to this video and find my podcast at Jordan P. Anderson. Uh, we've got some cool interviews with some big-time filmmakers and YouTubers that I'm sure you guys would love to hear. Again, just look up the Jordan P. Anderson podcast, um, or you can go to jordanpanderson.com slash news. That's a quick plug. Hope that wasn't uh, too hurtful for me to say to you guys. Hope I didn't lose anybody out there, but uh, you guys need to know about this podcast. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, we'll see you next time. Also to the subscribers out there who have been longtime subscribers, um, let's get on the phone and let's get you on the podcast because I got some questions for you. So yeah, so if you're interested, leave a comment or uh, direct message me on Instagram at Jordan P Anderson if you uh, if you want to be on the podcast. I would love to have you. So yeah, cool. Thanks for watching, guys. My name is Jordan Anderson, and uh, this ends the sponsored video post plug. Right hook. I don't know. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Mm.